following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Today on Relationship Status, we talk about starting relationships off on the right foot, the do's, the don'ts, just having fun, staying in the moment, and having the correct balance. We discuss new relationship terms, And the return of Ask Neek this week on Relationship Status. Welcome back to Relationship Status. It's your girl, Neek Cruz. C.L. Butler And your boy Yusuf in the building Make sure to listen to us On iTunes iHeartRadio Google Podcasts DefyLifePods.com And anywhere You listen to Your favorite Podcast Neek what I do? Nothing You're great <laughs> How's the week how, how, How's the week Treating you Neek? It's been You know It's good It's good you know, That's it? Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Right. Okay Got to, Got to approached in the club Again? We're not gonna go there Okay. <laughs> We're not okay. gonna talk about that. Okay. Keep this strictly PG. Okay. Hear yeah, no wow. evil, see no evil. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hear yeah, no evil, see no evil. Okay. <laughs> know what y'all got going on? <laughs> see. Yes, sir. How's the week treat you? Oh, I'm good. You're good. That's it. Good. So you good, good, Everybody's good. Everybody's yeah, good. I'm good. I don't have no real complaints. No. No. Okay. I didn't hear no evil, see no evil either. Okay. This week. Yeah. At no. all. You know what? What? We are not going to go there no more. No, no. We don't. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just being <laughs> strictly on the podcast, doing potting. You know? No, we do. Yeah, we potting. Like potting. Yeah, we have people waiting, listening. But where are we, where are we starting at? Where are we starting at? Uh, we're starting where a relationship, starting a relationship off right. Starting it off right. Yeah. Good feet. Good, good foundation. You think more people start them off wrong than right? Yes. I don't know if people are prepared to date. I don't think so either. They're just kind of looking and find something and then try to date. They get comfortable. They, they ain't got comfortable. They ain't got comfortable. They don't, yeah. they don't, no, they they don't, they don't, they don't come out with intentions to date. They just meet somebody and be like, oh, that's a great person to date. Sometimes you got to be purposeful in your dating. Like, this is the year I'm going to have a girlfriend. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, yes. set goals. Did you did you know this too? Some people plan to have babies. They just don't get pregnant. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, some people really put a chart out and say we're going to have our baby in December. I thought like usually it's, it's no. if someone sets a goal like that. Like okay, this year I'm going to have a boyfriend. I'm going to have a boyfriend. That doesn't mean I'm going to pick whoever comes, but I'm going to do what it takes to have to be in a they relationship. Like, oh, don't focus on that. Well, no, I think I think that's more so about the person putting himself in the mindset. Yeah, the person to yeah. receive because mm-hmm. you have to be ready. Yeah, yeah, you do. You have to be ready. Yeah, you can't. You, I said that last to receive second. the person that that you want to be with. Too. Well, I think that's how that's how a lot of and I, and I don't want to be disparaging towards women, but that's how women get caught up in things. You're a woman basher. No, no, that was, no. I'm uplifting. Was, I'm uplifting the queen. Oh, hold up. Yeah, I don't think that was. Yeah. That's not bashing. It probably uplifting. wouldn't be for you. You looked. You said hold up, and she looked dead at me. Look at me. She looked me in my oh, eyes. Wow, see. wow. Yeah, I, like, I, I, like, I, like I was like she was about to say uh, me. I ain't even said nothing. Okay. So you, you don't think that happens to women? No, I mean, it does, but uh huh. Not a lot. Okay, because me, because men usually give in to being in a relationship. Don't come on, like I'm having a girlfriend. No, they don't. <laughs> I'm having a girlfriend this year. Yeah, I'm you gonna sound, find me a you girlfriend. Sound, you sound like a serial killer when you say that. No, a lot of guys are like, you know what? I'm ready to settle down, and I all he has all these women flocking to him because he said I'm ready to settle down. Oh, okay. So no, yeah. That's what men say. Yeah. What men do you talk to that tell you these things? Nate? Oh my god. <laughs> This is a lot. It, I I see it on social media, on Facebook. You know, on Facebook. Oh, if a man wrote that down, he's lying. Yeah. Oh, really? So when yeah. a man types that out, he's lying. He said in the bait. 
He's setting that bait. She's throwing it out there like, okay, yeah. somebody going somebody gonna to try to save me. Somebody going to be in that inbox. I'm about to ruin somebody's daughter's life. It's, it, <laughs> it is tryout season. So it is? Know, yeah. okay. It's tryouts. Well, well, where do we start? But anyway, yeah, where do we start? We we'll start with a do or a don't. You tell me what you got. Uh, I'll go first. Okay, okay. We'll ladies first. A, ladies first. Yes. Ladies first. We'll start with a do. Okay, what's a do? Um, a do is stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Yes. Enjoy what's right now. But th- when that doesn't happen, it's usually a woman's fault. Again, I know I'm two for two right now. <laughs> behind the three point line, deep corner ball. And, 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 and it's hitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Because I you just, know why women don't stay in the moment. Why we? Oh, well, they don't. If they're eating. They already want to know when we coming back to this restaurant again. Yeah. We're going to oh, eat again. Good. You yeah. haven't even eaten the first bite yet. I love the ambiance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting caught up in it. I can agree I can't to Take me this. back. You haven't even left the vacation yet. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you back where? When, when are we coming back after yeah, the first day? We, yeah. Don't dream of the future. You shouldn't. Just stay in the moment. Stay in the Enjoy. moment. Enjoy. With right now. But well, that means you have to slow things down mm-hmm. and just enjoy the process of the moment. Yeah. You don't have to hit me like, what are we doing? Just enjoy what just, we're doing. Yeah, let's. Now I might ask, what are do we doing? You. Where, you know, where are we going? Make sure we're on the same page. Oh, no, no, why don't no, you why? call me later and bring that up? Right now, let's just enjoy what we're doing. Yeah, let's enjoy this thoughts like moment. that are going to cause me not to have a good time with you. Yeah. How? Because you don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Yeah, you got all high pitch. Start to get talk. I feel the frustration of men out there. I was yeah. about to a lot say, of guys you, reach out to me, and you felt that. I'm telling you, it's 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 real. It's real. I just I don't get it. Don't women? You think a lot of men sometimes are in the special moment with a woman, mm-hmm. and they just keep talking and talking and talking and saying stuff. You like just shut up, just shut. up. Come on, I'm ready. <laughs> He's just talking. Especially when you're sitting there, you know, cuddled up. You ready. Watching Netflix. You ready. Ready to chill. Know? Ready to chill. <laughs> and she was like, I got a question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, no, you need to be closing the deal now. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know what? I, you just went from on top to the. Where, where, like, what are we? Uh, where are we going? Yeah, see. How do you feel about me? A man answers these questions? No woman. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's okay. that's the woman bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I'm doing, that's yeah. the female bag. Yes. When we when we go into it with, I got a question. But the, uh, do you think women do less of living in the moment than men? A physical moment, I think men are more there for. Yeah. Some of this non pride, <laughs> like, what's your five year plan? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We'll I'll be here in five anyone. years. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to be here with you in five years, so let's just rock out now. You going to tell somebody that? I'm thinking. I would not say that. <laughs> oh, okay. As soon as you tell me, I'm just being honest, you know, I might not be with you. I'm trying to keep it real with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No? I mean, but that's going to turn me off. Okay. Makes me feel like you're already planning to. But why would you even why, ask? Why, like, why I don't even know enough about you to have. Yeah. Because this is, the, this is just the be, you know how to start it off. Yeah, let's get these moments to make memories. Yeah. No. You're mm. already comfortable enough to tell me that you know you're not going to be. You might not be with me in five years. Don't ask me about five, five years. years. Yeah, don't ask me five, what is my five year plan. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't ask that question because I don't like uh, to be asked that question. Okay. But if a woman asks you, I don't, you, can you know, just what's ask your me five my, year? My ten day plan. She might have a five year plan. I don't want to so be in there. know yours. But I, don't I, I, I don't think at this point I'm interested in her five year plan. We're just starting off. Yeah. So, so people can sure. put too much on you in the beginning. She doesn't want to waste her time. She's wasting time asking me these, these questions. questions. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Like, that's what you're doing. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. No, okay. Okay. You, self, you, Neeks is stay in the moment. And uh, it was a little segue. Is this a do or a don't? It's a do. This is a do. Another do. Be genuine. Be From the genuine. Start. You, do, do, you, do you think women misrepresent themselves or men misrepresent you themselves? Oh, I'm about to say. I'm going to say both. I think it's easy. Ladies first, though. It's easy for a person to try to put on that the best version. Mm-hmm. It's easy for people to get into that mode because we're trying. they're trying to impress, mm-hmm. um, trying to reel them in. And they got to put the good bait, that expensive bait on the hook. 
reel them on in. Okay. Um, and I think. What, do you think what men is, do that or women? I think both do it. Who does it more? You think? I think women do it more than men. Okay. Um, no. Neek rebuttal. I think, yeah, I think men do it more than women. Y'all give us this. I got money. I, nah, I kind of do agree <laughs> with you. I seen him. I seen that guy talking. <laughs> I know him. Which one? You no, know, I. I got money. I'm gonna take care of you. you. I'm about to give you everything. Or they'll give that, you know, I'm a really busy guy. I got all this going on. <laughs> no. What well, I mean? And the most a woman would do is make you feel like she's expensive. Well, what if a guy, what if a guy really Why women never make you feel like they cheap? Hmm? Why women don't make you feel like, let, let you feel like they cheap? They're basic. Oh, call That's what, what you like. Called. Cheap, basic. Whatever. <laughs> a nice way to say it is basic. Okay, but why don't women leave with that? Um, some women do. They like to leave, like, oh, I don't do this. But you're right. Like that. I run. If you have no hopes and dreams, I run. I yeah, run. some it makes it sound boring. I'll say that. Okay. Well, but, I just think you get lost in what in trying to put on this facade of, I mean, of a better version. Like you, you trying to sell yourself off as a Maserati, and you a Pinto. Pinto, okay. <laughs> you know? Neek never seen a Pinto. <laughs> no, I haven't. Never, okay. Yeah, so I mean, I think being real is a do. It's a definite do. Be genuine. But be what real. is being real? Is that authentic? Yeah, just authentic. But what is like? What is real? If this is my real. It, that's what I'm saying. If be, but be that. Be you. But what if you really that? That's, now, that's, that's, now, that makes women question. Like, hmm. No, but if that's you, I mean, that if you are, if you do have money to take care of. You don't even Her. have to have money I mean, to take care of somebody. I'm just saying, you just got to be willing to spend all your money on them. No, you were saying, y'all were talking about the guy who in the club goes, uh, get all the change. Yeah, man. yeah, man. I got, I, I'm going to change your life. And, but what man, if he I'm needs it? it? That's what I'm saying. So that's him being real. If that's being real for him and that's what he does and he can, uh huh, be real. But that's you think it. a lot of men mi- misrepresent that? Yeah, I think men, I think, and women misrepresent it. Okay. I ain't out here telling no man I'm gonna take care of him. <laughs> not, no, not represent. <laughs> a woman never said that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, oh, you talking about directly from that taking care of for what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. No, a woman's not gonna say that. <laughs> but a lot of a lot of men do do that. Like I can, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take care of uh, you know, I'm gonna make sure that you you're straight, good, yeah, and you're good. But I will say a lot of women do like to give. No, but women be telling you, I'm going to hold you down when they're not telling the truth. At all. That Now, I've seen that. They're going to hold you down. I was going to say. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> me cut you off. Um, a lot of women do give the impression of they have these high morals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they really don't. Oh, yeah. You find out who that baby father is. You're like, wow. wow. Fam, you out here putting this pressure on me? <laughs> We're like, you want to start a 90-day rule with me? And you yeah. gave it up to everybody but you, else before but me. But, Nanique, you are speaking to a certain classification of woman, which is all. Um, <laughs> that They do misrepresent that. Like, a lot of women come off like highbrow. Like, they it. I mean, it's like, no, don't get like that with me. Cause you want to start over. Yeah, I want the same energy. Do you? Yeah, I mean, we. I can't believe men people like are here that. not being genuine. A man will sit there and give another woman all his buy flowers, take okay. her here, take her there, and she wasn't the one or hurt his feelings, and now he gets to me and say, "Well, you know, I want to see where this goes first. Oh, oh. you want the flowers yeah. too? Yeah. Give me your, give Nika her flowers, please. Yes. Yeah, man, give me her flowers. Please. Send me my edible arrangement without, you okay. know, with more okay. than five pieces of fruit. Okay. Who sends like, that? Nah, nah, I don't know who does who would do I, that. I've gotten it. Okay. Five the five piece one? Yeah, the five pieces of fruit. Oh my god. You don't So what me. is that? So what do you I didn't even get he you had to get it. You had, okay. You don't even acknowledge that he sent that. No. Okay. I told him thank you though, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I I think they sent the wrong one though. That's what I would tell them. They sent a little teeny one. Like, yeah, it was small. It was embarrassing. Okay. Man, okay, and I came to your job. Yep. Whew. Okay. Okay. CLU. I have do a do or don't. We doing dues. Either one. Either one. Do or don't. Um, my one do. I mean, I have a few dues. Do do. Yes. One do is having balance. I don't want you. I don't want to become your world all of a sudden that you're involved in me because I know this isn't sustainable. 
Like you might go hard three weeks. It's all about me. <laughs> then it's going to be a hard dip. Yeah. And I'm not going to like that. Yeah. If it was really about me the way you said it are, said it is, and you're going to cater to me and you're doing this, it goes back to being genuine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't keep that up. Consistent. Consistent. Like, I want to see the balance. Like, if I'm going to be your priority, I want to be your priority all the time. I don't need you to be this. But if you are offering it. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, they'll, when when they do that, I think that's going, that's tying back in to everything we've already talked about. It's oh, when I see that, like, I know this only going to last 60 days. 60, only 60 days? Maybe 60. You, you yeah, get yeah I'm going to give it 60. I mean, uh, to, to experience the CL experience, you need at least 60 <laughs> days. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to shortchange you on that because I have to do what I do. Yeah. But I know you can't keep it up much longer than that. I know. I already know. 30, 60, 90, you pick. The CL experience. Yes. <laughs> yes. We need to have yes. an episode on a the whole CL episode. Yeah, yeah. A whole I, episode I, I have material. You have material. Yes. yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. And witnesses. And witnesses. And witnesses. Are Witness. they willing to come on the show? No, they're going to blackface and change their voice. <laughs> he got me. He got me. <laughs> Surviving <laughs> CL. Surviving CL. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm just you got telling victims you. out there. No, no. You tried to trick me. Yeah, and that trick got tricked back on you. Oh, double reverse, like in Rick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. Thought you was gonna get me with that. Okay, but I, I don't want no. I, I really don't want a woman that is just so engulfed in me that like. Oh, I, just, I do because it's only gonna last sixty days. <laughs> like I'm okay with that. <laughs> just, just if it go past sixty days, we're both gonna be miserable. <laughs> yeah, I don't. This want is not that gonna either. work. I don't. I don't want a man that like I'm his entire. But you don't girl. want that for a little while. Sometimes no, for moments. Yeah, so sixty days. No, not for sixty days. A week. You know, just let me know you you want me as long as you you. Make sure you, I know you want me mm-hmm. and I know you're interested. Now, is that a woman's version of I want you or a man's version of I want you? Because sometimes men think they're doing it. And I'm like, you're not doing nothing. Communication <laughs> is key. But expectation is a key because yeah. your expectation of wanting Neek may not be my expectation of wanting Neek. It's like I call you every day. But I'll take that. You'll take a call every day and that's going to be enough. I mean, if that Nick, look you, me right in my eyes and lie okay. to me, yeah. lie to me, because that's not enough. Yeah. How is that not enough? If my expectation is one thing and yours is different, but well, first and foremost, you shouldn't have expectations. No, but you were talking about of getting you. Yeah. Like I think I'm doing enough, and you was like, Nah, you ain't doing nothing. You like in, but that's you like I in the ten percentile. <laughs> like you need to be in the eighties, nineties. Well, that's when I. You know, I tell you, okay, well, this is not enough. Can't you warn me before? This is what I'm expecting. <laughs> well, that kind of goes into the Because a man might thought he phase. was doing it when he was sending you edible arrangements. He was like, this is whack. I did. My last boyfriend sent me 200 strawberries. I, I'm not going to do that. And you in here with a brown four? <laughs> Shit, we ain't doing that. You can come get these. My kids don't even want to eat that. <laughs> my I, kids didn't. Yeah, I tried to give it to my dog. Dog was like, <laughs> No. Who is this broke boy? <laughs> <laughs> my mom was like, Oh, bring it home. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be. Exactly. And then when they, if they get a chance to meet him and looking at him, well, it's four strawberry guy. This mm. is the. F- <laughs> it was like one big pineapple, a mango in the middle of it. <sighs> And so that's not acceptable. No. no. Okay. okay. We yeah. talked about that in the very first episode. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we just a throwback then. <laughs> yeah, that was forgot the... so long ago. Oh, that was so Nick, long Nick, ago. What's next? That was a long time. Nick, oh. You got to do or don't. <laughs> um, I have a do. A Another do. do. Well, give us the do. Actions speak louder than words. So you rather him talk less? Um, no. I expect for him to be a man of his word. But you said actions speak louder. So if he don't say nothing, he just act. You like okay, he a real one. True. No, like I, I like to see. I'm more of an action person. Like don't just oh, talk. Oh, you about that action? Yeah, I'm about that okay. action. Okay. Like you can tell me, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take you on this, you know, this date, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. No, I, I need to see it. Okay. I need you to be making plans. Like, hey, I need you to be ready at eight o'clock. Um, have something. Nice on. So you want to fantasize about being in a relationship? 
<laughs> okay. Okay. What's wrong with that? It's nothing. Nee, listen. We all get what we want eventually. Hey, it's nothing wrong with that. You said what? Give me a do or don't. A do. A do. One thing that people get lost. When people get lost? One, one thing that people get lost, they lose sight of. Themselves? No. Just have fun. Oh, oh just having fun? Okay. Just have fun. Do people Stay date for fun anymore? I mean, just some do, but I don't think I, I don't think they let another the person know they're dating for fun. Well, I don't know what I what I mean by having fun is like have fun with each other, like have genuine fun, like laugh. But what if you can't create and, that because you really don't know the person? How, how can you not knowing a person? How can mm-hmm. you generally just have fun? Well, I easy. Think it's just, in okay, the get, what's it, the easy? Well, as you're getting to know you, hey, you know, well, what do you like to do? Okay, well, let's go try this. Be adventurous. Um, try something that maybe they like to do mm-hmm. and then have them try something that you like to do Yeah, and then kind of continue to cross over and then try something that you maybe talk about something that you both want to try. Okay. You for know, the for time. the first time. Um, but I mean, that's one time. So how do you create continual fun? Well, I mean, you just continue to go well, on though. You just continue to do that. Yeah. Like with that first time, um, I can actually give you a story um, you can give us a story um, actually yeah I can. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on it boy mm-hmm. <laughs> last episode <laughs> so scared. okay but no um me and my friend when we first um went on our first date okay. he tried to take me somewhere neither one of us ever been he was like yeah my friends um well my um associates at my job told me that this would be a nice place let's go here we can get some wings the food is good get some drinks I'm like okay cool so we go in, it's like big fam, like a, a a real family type environment. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So well, you had a golden corral. Definitely, <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so golden like, corral okay, vibes. I'm looking at the menu. It has like you know bar food, mozzarella sticks. Okay. Burger. Classy, you classy, neat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because like it, the point of it was just to go sit, chill, watch a game, and, and they did have games on, um, and eat and talk. Yeah. Um, they didn't sell any alcohol. I'm gonna find out it's a nice after school place for the high school kids. So that's not <laughs> <laughs> Who's you going with? Dayton R. Kelly? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he didn't know. Oh, he didn't know. No, so we was we was experiencing this for the first time together. Um when we did the buffet, we didn't know there was a buffet. And <laughs> one side was wings. The other side was like. So you went to a CC's? Like, where did you go? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the other side was like soul food, mm-hmm. and like the wings were so nasty. Okay. But like we both, you know, laugh about it. And oh, so oh, that's where the laughter came in. Yeah, like he was like, "Yeah, I really messed up. I'm sorry." Oh wow! So and you forgave him? Yeah. Did like, he get, did he he get another uh, opportunity to? Yes, he did. Partake in Neek's company? Yes. Take okay. He did much experience. better. Okay. He did much better the second time around. He did. Yeah. Good for him. And we laughed about it then. Okay. So y'all having fun? Yeah. Is tickling still a thing? Who's no. Still, like, don't I you think, tickle me? I think Can after, you just tickle your girl like? Huh? No. Like after thirty? I'm like, just why saying. Are you, after I'm just thirty, asking. why are you? Why? Why? I'm just asking. Is it a thing? I don't hear about people getting tickled no more. Because we're over cause thirty. Because we're, we're over thirty. So what do you do? What replaced tickling? Not jokes, mate. I don't know. Did what you, replaced tickling? See, did you really we replace, haven't. Hold do you, do on. We you, haven't. We've gotten away from what made us successful. A good tickle. A good tickle. So we tickling now? I'm not tickling, but <laughs> <laughs> if you what, what? Why did we lose tickling? Maybe because people still French kiss. Oh, of course. Okay, that's the French kids are still in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little tongue act. Okay. <laughs> so no tickling, French kissing. What else? What else did we lose? No, we lost. Oh, we didn't lose French kissing. You can't, you no. okay, we didn't lose French kissing. We didn't you lose can't French, lose. Okay, French, kitchen, yeah, French kissing is still there. Oh, yeah. Of course. What happened to about the like, tangibles that got you in a relationship? Like just touching a girl butt. Like you, you don't do that anymore? Touch There's your butt. Sexual assault now. <laughs> Harassment. Me, 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 me too. 2019, you can't even. Nah, nah. you be me too. Okay. So no tickling. Up. Yeah. You can't no, rub you can't rub on the butt. No one like come in my house, look at my stereo, just listen to some music, some jams. 
None, none of that stuff. You know what? Work? I asked that on a previous show. Uh, like our show. In, yeah. Okay. Um. No, that in, we'll check that out. <laughs> we we got to check the tape. Yeah, yeah, we got to check the tape. I can't remember what episode. But okay. I did ask, like, like I remember watching Boomerang for the first time uh-huh. as an adult, and. The fact that he was bringing women to his house, like he cooked for them, like his their first date was at the house. That's a Mac Daddy vibe. He's putting that. nobody is doing that today. Okay, why nobody? Why, why why people be murdering people? <laughs> yeah. That's why I am not going to be murdering. I do it. Mm. I know, but you're not a murderer. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, like I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm just saying in today's. So you don't yeah. see nothing wrong with murdering, but no, you have no, a problem no, with no, 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 no. What, no, I think what what I think it is. I think people don't do it, don't do that much now because well, to the simple people things. are so weary of of being in someone's home early on. Okay, so <laughs> is like a like the new butt feel or no? Oh, when you love somebody's picture on social media, I, I was, was told like. that's it flirting. Was I was told that's flirting. Yeah, you love my picture. I love was told mo- that was love is more than a like. Yeah, yeah you got to hold, and then because you got to hold it, it, down gotta hold really the butt, you got to hold it down. Oh, it changes the, from like to love. Yeah, like love, laugh. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, you got to hold. You got to hold that thing down. Angry. I don't do that, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if you love more than one of my pictures, mm-hmm. we go together. So what if you do that to Malik Yoba picture? <laughs> You no? know what? You gonna leave that man? Listen, let's go to another dude. <laughs> so you see, it's on me. Yeah. No, no, you didn't give us one, did you? I did. Yeah. I, just, I just said, have fun, yeah. have fun. Yeah, that's yeah. a simple one. <laughs> no, what do you mean I gave you a simple one? So you cheated. That, how did I cheat? That was a good one. That was. You see how we all? We, this, that was a good this, one. This is something I really practice. What? I try not to make a good impression. Why? Because I just want to be me. I'll make sure you like me for me. So let okay. me my little idiosyncrasies or quirks. You need to just kind of. Enhance those things and be cool, but I think when you try too hard, it comes off fake. Yeah, fake, unauthentic. That goes back to Unoriginal. being genuine. <clears throat> yeah, well, genuine I think is different, and I'll tell you why. Okay, I think when you're genuine, mm-hmm. sometimes genuine doesn't. Sometimes you don't know, but you're being your genuine self. Like I didn't really know that was like a thing. When you're trying, when you're trying not to be impressive. Um, don't go outside your normal routine because you're going on a date with her. Like whatever, whatever you do, that should be what you do. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Not that you shouldn't try to impress her or be the best version of yourself, but when you approach it, mm-hmm. do what you already been doing. Yeah. If you don't wear clean sneakers, which I don't understand why, <laughs> uh, don't go out and buy new sneakers for her. Buy them because you just needed them. Buy them because you, yeah, yeah. you needed it. Yeah, you've been to church and tell somebody who just got a new outfit. Like, <laughs> like they really want to. Like, you really had to use the bathroom four times. Doing <laughs> Come on now. Well, Come on now. Always got to get up for Come some reason. Come on now. You don't see me. Somebody moving out of the aisle. You stand up in the middle of the aisle. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I, mean, I, I can't. When I go get my hair done. When I got my hair dyed for the first time, I went. I was off that day, mm-hmm. and I still went to work because somebody was going to see this hair. You let them know, Nick. Yeah. Okay. I went in swinging it. Well, you had to go get pick up some staplers. Um, <laughs> I, had to go, I had to go submit my time. Your time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somebody going to see this do. Okay. All right, Nick. One more. Give me. Give, give us another do or don't. Um, I have a don't. Refrain from being needy. Needy. Yeah, you don't want to come off needy. Especially Not too men. early. Yeah. Especially men. Men come across needy? Yeah. What's the version men, of needy? Men? Men come off very needy. Why you ain't call me? Oh, oh no. Wow. That's not. That's a male. Yeah, that's a lot of whining. That's <laughs> yeah. a lot of whining. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 I want to see you. Well, that's the thing. If you if somebody wants to spend time with you. Nah, nah. You never <laughs> say that. You, I, if your woman not telling you she need to spend more time with you, you have a problem, brother. You have a problem. I don't have every woman should say that. I'm just saying not you, but (laughs) if you don't have your if your woman don't tell you we need to spend more time together at least three four times a month, but you ain't living right. Mm. I need to hear it. Yep, I need more of you. She don't never say that. (laughs) Something's wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Something wrong with the twist (laughs) heart. Something wrong. 
it's time to just go ahead and wrap it up and something. Because so? yeah, yeah. I don't know if you should wrap it up, but you need to definitely question you need to, it. Yeah, you need you to step your game up. You got to want to just be desired. Once a man come, becomes that, like, always, when, I don't never get to talk to you. Oh, well, yeah, I wouldn't say that. Well, no, 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 no. But, I, like, men do say that. Do they? Yeah. I don't never get to talk to you. Well, you should I'm say, trying. when you talk to me, have something to talk about. Yeah. Sitting there telling me about Tyrone at the job got rims. I want to hear that. <laughs> no. What you want to hear? What What would be a good way a conversation starter for a conversation starter? Yeah, if your guy calls, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, how does he come into the conversation? Because you you have to be able to maintain a conversation. Um. Well, whenever he does call, his first thing is always hello. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh I was <just> regular. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? No, it's, it's just you know how was your day? That's how a good. That's a good way today? to start off. Okay. You sir. Yeah. No? What? How did you start off conversation? How was I start off conversation? Yeah. Hmm. Just regular, just I'm not looking for any specific answers. Just, yeah, just, no, asking, just I usually start with not, when I answer or she answers, what's up? Hun, hun most likely. Hun? Yeah, usually. I like to hit him with a little bonjour. Oh, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, bougie. Bonjour. 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 Yes. <laughs> Hola. Hola. I just got back. There's many languages to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I speak many languages. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, you know who speaks a lot of languages? Who? who? This commercial we about to play. What's... <laughs> Is it Espanol? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, we're going <laughs> to... Let's get into this commercial. Okay. Let's, let's go to a little break here. We're going to break. Yeah. We'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Anything, Everything, and Nothing podcast with Lynn and Kim. Join us as we discuss the latest in everything from entertainment and current events to the craziness that is our real life. Let's laugh, let's live, let's talk about it. New episode every Tuesday on the Defy Life Podcast Network. And remember, if you're not defying life, then what are you doing? Lynn and Kim. So you can come. And we are back. Are we back? Yeah, we're, we're back. back. Did we really ever leave if we're still here? No, nah, we, we you know. Did we? I don't know. It's twenty it's twenty nineteen. I tried to go to the bathroom, I didn't make it. Didn't make it. No. No potty break. For you. No potty break for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> in in this new millennium or millennium X, Gen X generation. All these extra terms. No, no, those are what's happening now. I know. You know? Generation Gen- Z. We in Generation Z? I don't know. But I know there's three things they call them. I don't know. I don't really okay. know where I am. I think I was a baby boomer. <laughs> Are you really? A, I think no, that's... CL, you're not a baby boomer. I What's I a baby boomer? Boom, um, a baby boomer. You're, you're X. I'm not X. You are Generation X. You. I'm not Generation X. I thought Generation X was a new I was, generation. I'm an 80s, 90s baby, man. Me too. That's what I'm saying. I'm an 80s, 90s baby. What was, what was it? It wasn't baby. We weren't baby boomers. The like, 70s? The baby boomers? No, I was an 80s baby. Well, 80s, 90s baby. So. I don't know. I'm going to tell you about these new terms. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to figure out We're going to figure out exactly what we are. But there's some new dating terms out here. That millennials and Gen Xers and baby boomers and everybody alike are using. Are using. But we need to know what's going on when we're talking about them. So I'm going to start off with gaslighting. Gaslighting. Do we know what gaslighting is? I don't. Somebody know. better look. I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to yeah. look it up. Gaslighting? Yeah. Look gas up light. gaslighting. You ever been gaslit? Yeah, no. You was natural gas? Was natural you? gas. <laughs> you was a natural gas? <laughs> you know that's old 88 over there. You know what I'm saying? You was oh. 88. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Huh? What's gaslighting, Neat? Gaslighting is being manipulative. Mm. So you got people out here being manipulative. Manipulative into making someone question their mm. own sanity. Yeah, Ma- no, I ain't been there. That's when you gaslight. Like nobody don't want you but me. Mm. But ain't oh. it? Is that a good example? That's, 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 that's oh. a good example. Mm. Really? You're questioning yourself now. Make you question yourself. Make you feel like you're the crazy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. You have been gaslit? Oh yeah. Wow, they gassing you? Yeah. But see, when I was coming up, it was like getting gas with somebody yeah. like putting a battery in your yeah. bag. Gas, yeah. gas, gas lighting you, you up. Know? Yeah, them not wanting to discuss the issue they created. No, that's a part of the example. That's here. exactly. I'm agreeing. Yeah. I'm agreeing. Yeah. That's that's not a good thing to do. Like I don't want to listen to that. Mm. 
<laughs> but they know they want to really hear you. No, they know they're wrong. Oh, and they don't want to talk about it. Okay. Mm. I've never heard it. Gaslighting. Gaslight. Gaslighting. That's a new, new, term, new term. New term. New term. 2019. 2019 new term. You missed another one, see. Um. How about a fluffer? That is completely new to me. Fluffer, you said? What is a fluffer? A fluffer is a person that you kind of use to prepare you for your next relationship. Like sometimes women and men have somebody hanging around that may like them that kind of not your type, but you might date, hang out, or even have sex or baby with them. And <laughs> you know you don't want to be with them. You know what I'm saying? A stepping stone. A, a stepping stone. They're gonna put you in. The, put you get your confidence back up. I think ladies have a guy they always can call and get a compliment from. Yeah. No. No. I mean, no. He not you. Not me. Not me. Not me. Let's not see. me. No. But women that you know have that in their lives, and that is a necessary evil. Boy, walking, you know? walking on the eggs, walking on the eggs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> not me personally. Not you personally. You never had a fluffer. No, I ain't never had a fluffer. But a fluffer is like you know, a little confidence booster. You know that guy that always saying you good morning text. Always, Regardless and he if know he's not getting no rhythm. <laughs> you're no, not even in the game. No pants off, dance off. None. None. <laughs> you might want to go to the movies and be like, "Hey, you want to go to the movies?" But you, you want to see take, the movie? No, no, no. You want to take me to the movies? Wow. Wow. So you yeah. gaslighted him because yeah. you about to get gaslighted. Yeah. <laughs> but he a fluffer. But he's a fluffer. He's a fluffer. Okay. Mm. Okay. How about? I hope I said this correctly. Okay. A textlationship. Ooh, when you're just texting. Just texting, no face to face. I think that's a lot now. That's really a lot of people. That's how you get catfish when you don't see people. Yeah, we don't see them. They just be texting. And I think that's like it rolls from because it rolls over from social media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They start the relationship there, so it's easier. Like they, if they were to ever get on the phone, conversation would probably be dead. But texting got stuff to say. Is that acceptable from a woman? I mean, I'm from a guy. He's like, I don't, I don't, I don't like to talk, talk on the phone. On I text. Home, yeah. Um. No, I have to talk to you. I have to hear your voice. They say that. No. I. I mean, me personally, yeah. Okay. I, as women, we like to hear your voice. Like to hear your voice. We like to hear your inter your um. So is this a younger yes. girl thing? Uh, yeah, it has to be because yeah, but I think I, I think that's more or less because they spend so much time on social media on social media mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if they actually had to like. They're probably on their phone talk. If they were to talk, they're probably on their phone doing something social media wise. And I think it allows them texting allows them to be active in a conversation mm -hmm. while still doing social media stuff. You know, oh, what I'm wow. saying? like I could I could I could put up a new snap and in between my snaps, I'm texting or in between texting, I'm snapping. You know what I'm saying? So I think it, it's a way for them to still do everything they want to do mm -hmm. rather than sitting and having there's an art to having a good conversation. Absolutely, yeah. and you have to you practice know, that art. Yeah, yeah, like you just, you just. A lot of people don't have it, and I think that that's why <clears throat> um, a lot of young people don't have good conversation, good telephone conversation skills. They don't I mean, have good communication. Yeah, good skills. communication skills. It's okay. just, it's just something that you know you lose out on. So I think. So, so texting is hurt relationships. A oh God! Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Wow. Technology. Like, technology. I think the texting and social media has crippled. Yeah. Um, relationships. Okay. Like you ever seen a couple sit there and they're like this on their phones? Yeah, and when like, they're eating or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. I don't allow. They don't know. Like don't they can't communicate. Yeah. Dates. And you know what? I don't. Not when we eat. Yeah. yeah. When we I, go out, I like for the phones to stay up. Mm -hmm. Like. I mean, like, you know, I understand everybody has kids. Well, some people have kids and yeah, I think that's family the tough members. Thing. That's but, the number one thing. People lying on kids. Kids ain't texting. He's playing the game. <laughs> no, if they say they saying that it's, <laughs> you have emergency. It's yeah, in case of, of a kid's emergency. Yeah, I, I can see you and having I, your phone. But what I but what I what I have said is, well, what did people do before before the cell phone? Because I'm pretty certain that there were people were out to eat. That's right. And emergencies came up, and I I, I think what what they would do was tell, just what tell you where we're going. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're going to be at Applebee's. Here's the number to Applebee's in case something happens. Oh, yeah, that's a babysitter. You know what I'm saying? Give it to the babysitter. If something happens, that's what we'll be. You know, um, and I think that that might be something people need to adopt back when you're at, just in dating. Just it away a little just, bit. You know how many kids will be calling Applebee's because they want to talk no, to their no, mama? It's, no, it's not, it's not dad. <laughs> well, maybe it's not just, giving the number. No, not give, not give the kid the number, but, yeah, but just, the kid is with an adult. Mm -hmm. So you would give the adult 
the number, mm-hmm. and then shoot, you can leave the phones in the car. Like, I don't even have to be okay. with you. Well, I don't. I'm. I don't mind them having their phone. Is being on your phone. Okay, so like, the phones can be present. Just yeah, don't. even you can get a call and answer it, and just tell them, "Hey, I'm busy right now." But why? I think, answer, I think women answer, like that. You, huh? I think women like when you answer the phone and say, "I'm here with her," or "I'm here with my girlfriend," or. Yeah, we do. I'm here but with my thing is a special lady, well, why, a special well, night. Well, why am I? Mm. And why are you wasting my time with these phone calls? That's a, that's a good idea, CL. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna yeah. get somebody to call me next time I'm <laughs> yeah, on a like, date. Nah. Next time I'm on a date, I'm gonna get somebody to call me just to say that. <laughs> oh, okay, Playboy. <laughs> All right. All right. Call me just to All say right. that. All right. All right. The wrong person call you. Yeah. Nick, are you familiar with recycling? Yes. Everybody, carton, paper, plastic. What do you do? Paper. Okay, we're not talking about that. (laughs) We're talking about that person that consistently dates other people and keeps going back to their ex that they've said all these salacious things things about. (laughs) Some true, some untrue. (laughs) And they keep going back. You can't stop them from going back. A lot of women do that. I met the one, and next thing you know, she's back with him. Like I'm leaving him alone. I'm done. I'm done. I'm officially done. Okay. I'm not going, I'm not, I blocked him. Mm. Next thing you know, there's a picture posted. Yeah, they back oh, with my boo. Back and better. <laughs> okay, back and better than ever. <laughs> back like we never oh, left. Oh no, oh, oh, understood. My, don't <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't have to be explained. What's understood doesn't, doesn't have, have to be explained. Okay, okay. What the heart <laughs> wants is what the heart wants. <laughs> you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> it's not about to unfriend your ass. It's about to happen. <laughs> no, that's when they get unfollow. Unfollow. <laughs> you know what? No, no. I'll put them on a thirty day snooze. Oh wow, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. See, oh wow, I didn't. That boy, put Ooh. them on a thirty. <laughs> 30 days news. Wow. Expert. In 30 days, that won't be there no more. <laughs> so you get tired of a friend doing that? Yeah. Like, yeah I, I, I have a friend, they just. Like, don't even ask me for advice anymore. Like, don't talk to me. Yes. No, I, I, I don't mind listening. I no, listen. no, 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 no. Not when you keep going back. Not when you keep, mm. when you keep going back. I'm not listening no more. Yeah. Don't call listen. me. Nope. I, you can call me and talk nope. to me about it. Be like, don't. girl, guess what he did? What he did again? Oh. No. No. Oh, no. Because no, I'm going to make you feel stupid for calling me. Oh, Cause wow. I want you to get it. I nope. At no, as soon as you call me, girl, guess what he did? He had some girl that again, again. Wow, he yeah, did not. this again. See, oh, I so what that, are you gonna do about it? I think that that only encourages the BS. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I don't, I'm not even gonna encourage. I'm not going to entertain you. Like this conversation. If you're calling me to talk about anything other than what he or she has done to you again, yes, we good. Okay. After the second, well. What you give it one one chance back? It depends then, on how long we've been friends too. If I just if I just met you, mm-hmm. we might not be friends no more. I'm not. Listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> but if we've been around each other fifteen years or, or five years and we haven't had this, but now no, yeah, no. I mean, after the first, you can go back, and you didn't go back two, three, four. I don't want to hear all. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm notorious for telling people to break up with each other. <laughs> just break up with them. I'm notorious for that. Just break up with him. Yeah, just, just break up. Just, just break up with just him. End it. I am too. What, what do you What do you mean? I would tell you just block him. Block. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that works. Yeah. Okay. Block him for six months. Let's Let's, let's say the recycler is now in her recycling situation, right? Mm-hmm. And um, while she was out recycling, mm-hmm. she picked up some more trash. <laughs> oh my! And there's a little situation called the magic owl. Are we familiar with the magic owl? <laughs> I just found out who the that's, magic that's, owl that's was. That's that uh the magic owl is yeah. when it goes down after dark. We used to call it booty call. The booty? Booty call. Booty call. We made a whole movie about it. Wow. Whole, yes. It's Somebody about should, to sing the song. <laughs> what, Magic Owl or Booty Call? No, the, the that's, song that's on the Booty song, Call. The song on Booty Call. <laughs> Oh wow! I didn't, <laughs> didn't know that existed. I had okay. to myself. Okay, wow! But the no. magic hour, that late night, come through. Netflix and chill. No, no ain't no, no Netflix. Ain't no Netflix. It's right here. It's all chill. It's all chill. All chill. Late Straight night business. Shoot, one o'clock. 
Two o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's when you come with your. I'm getting some shorts to the door. Yeesh. Yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hoodie, hoodie with no shirt on under. <laughs> yeah, straight action. <laughs> and that's how the girl comes. We come with our little yeah, cheerleading yeah. shorts. Oh yeah, I, I, little short shorts, I, I, yeah. boy I've, shorts I've with a tank top. I've seen some leggings and some uggins before. Like I, mm. I've, I've seen I, too them, much them, material. Them, them no, I, no, oh, you I, mean I, you got to come I, out? Yeah. No, I've seen that walk of shame. Like I know where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I'm the shorts of boss boy. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't have a flashback right now. <laughs> wow. I, no, I, I had one. Ooh. Okay. Oh, All right. wow. After you get through the magic hour, okay. Maybe you would like a little DTR. DTR. What is No, I mean DT R. Yeah, DTR. <laughs> What's a DTR? DTR is define the relationship. No. What do we want that. We went from that midnight to no. that DT like let's let's define this. What are we doing now? Mm-mm. You know what? what? Uh, it's uh, not a dictionary. I don't need no definitions. Um an associate of mine, he told me that's how him and his wife started dating. No, I wouldn't. They they had <laughs> they had sex for the first time. When? <laughs> like no, the first like time just, they met? Like, no, 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 like, no, no. They were friends. They were cool and no relationship, no nothing. Okay. They were just friends. He and, caught um, on that come through? Yeah. Wow. Lucky guy. And she answered? Lucky guy. Yeah. And they had sex and she was like, okay, you don't want to be with me now? Okay. Wow. Sometimes you got to throw that sentimental text out there. Like, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> we just no, met yesterday. Well, I miss you. I miss you. Though. I believe they, um, <laughs> I believe like they were in. Like talking to separate people, and then they got together, had sex, and she was like, "Okay, so you're my boyfriend now, right?" Oh wow, <laughs> he got it. <laughs> oh, oh, Elizabeth, <laughs> that's a big one. I'm oh. coming. I'm coming to join you. How would you ask somebody that when you just had sex with them? It worked. That's not fair. They're married. She now. put the handcuffs on them right there. What you gonna say? No, <laughs> that, you, that's rude to say he no. Said that. He was like, I didn't know what to say. Did. If I say no, nah, then I'm gonna be the bad person. And he was like, so that's how our relationship well, started. Well, if that's how the relationship starts, you know what you got to go to next. What the FBO Facebook official official? Y'all got to post that pic. Not me. Laying in the bed, head back in the foot. No, no. How about you post a pic with just showing your feet? Oh, well, yeah, shoe, like lay it up, the like, shoe game. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, the hand, the hand, the whole hand. hand. Okay, okay. The whole hand. Okay. You know, you can so, see her nails. So you want him to? You, yeah, this is a girl. This ain't no. This ain't <laughs> only do. yo, but this is a girl right here. And then, and then they have the is now in a relationship. Yes, you got to change your status. <laughs> you got to change your status. Oh, when you change that in a relationship status. Hmm. Well, listen, that 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 inbox gonna blow right on up if you if you out there like that. Mm-hmm. And by, it instantly gonna blow up. Instantly like, blow up. Instantly. Oh yeah, women do that. Women, women and men do that. Yeah. But I, are oh, you in a relationship now? <laughs> with who? <laughs> wow. Since <laughs> when? Listen, Since when? Listen, I, you were just with me. I, I, I have a relative. Don't want to say in what relation we are related, but he was having some problems with uh, his wife. He thought they were on hiatus, mm-hmm. and he called me. And he said it's over. I said, "Nah, y'all good. Y'all just going through." He said, "No." You know what he told me? What? Mm-hmm. She changed her Facebook status. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does kind of make it official. He was, he was right. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> it was over. What was that Facebook it, status? She changed her Facebook Change. status. They haven't been back. Like, <laughs> is that like a do divorce creep? <laughs> like no, I think we separated. I'm gonna tell you what's worse than the change of the status. What's that? When someone's married and they go back to their maiden name on the oh yeah on the Facebook on oh, Facebook yeah. they'll change their from their married name back to their maiden name. They'll mm-hmm. go from Williams to Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> they be like, hold up, like, oh, wow. you married? Did you? Yeah, like Did, what's okay? Is this for business? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you kind of get caught. You don't want to ask the wrong question. Is, yeah. like, is that when the okay. inbox blows back up again? Yeah, like what, what? happened? What Y'all happened? Because you don't want to ask Y'all them in the comments. Y'all were my favorite couple. Oh wow, people hit you with that lie. Yeah, what? <laughs> Y'all my favorite Y'all couple. Y'all was so what good happened? together. Really? Y'all gave me hope. Oh wow, <laughs> wow. I don't put that pressure on people. It really does. It kills me. So those people 
were not in an LTR. Yousef, tell me what that means. Long term relationship. Long term relationship. Is that a status you can put on Facebook? No. No. This is relationship. It is a shampoo and conditioner. It works really well. <laughs> LTR? Yep. Where did you get that from? Um, who makes it? I can't remember I don't who makes know. it. But it's called that. long-term relationship. That's um. the... the, the <laughs> s- <laughs> 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 Hold on, y'all. <laughs> the shampoo is called long term relationship. Mm-hmm. Neek. I believe herbal essence. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, long long term. I'm about to get out here and get this money. <laughs> I'm about to make up me some nonsense. And it works so well. Does it? Yeah. Okay, I gotta put that on my, my list. I gotta get. I gotta get some of this made up money. <laughs> wow, yo, it is. Yeah, is it? Yeah, long term relationship. Pant. Uh, you know, I was shampoo. about to text yourself and say, "Neat lying." <laughs> no, <laughs> you know I use about, it. You know, I was about to text you and say, "Boy, neat, add it again." Add it uh, again. Neat. Hold up. <laughs> oh, for these conversations be happening. Ah, uh, okay. But it's, for, it's for long hair. Okay, yeah. long hair don't care. Herbal essences. Okay, long term relationship. Yo! Wow, I di- I didn't know such a thing existed. There you go, see. Well, oh, that bottle that bottle not shaped right. I ain't yeah. messing with that. <laughs> I got a little hook in it. Why well, the bottle hook it like that? Is that just their oh, like nah, their style? Man. <laughs> man. Well, if I go in somebody's bathroom and see that, I'd be like, they take oh, great oh, hair, oh, what, great care hmm? of their hair. What if they What if they bring it to the table? To do what? <laughs> nah. Oh wow. Wow, that's how you slide it in. You get a big box of it. We need to talk about this. Well you can get the other Shampoo? Bro- no, long term relationship. relationship. <laughs> we'll bring the other one. What color are we doing? Me, color me happy. That's a, a relationship. that's another brand. Well another name for it. Listen. Listen. Of one of their what's, what's next? I, we definitely didn't have this on the list. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely didn't have this on the list. Okay, couple more. Okay, this throning. Um, that is that is when uh, you mm-hmm. use someone else's social status status to boost your own status, and you're only dealing with them because of their social sure. media status or followers or Facebook or Snapchat. is that a thing? Like people really do that. That's what yeah. the kids say. They do. I'm not dealing with nobody for yeah. That's that's no cap. Some people no cap no cap. It they took like yo. Clout. It took me for, it took me I forever. Think that's what you say. No. They like clout. Oh yeah, they're doing it for oh, the do, clout. doing it for, for the clout. clout. Yes. Yeah. But that would Local be all. Clout. But that would be all cap. All cap. All cap. Which is different from no cap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo, I just found out what no cap was. <laughs> you did a little I, while ago. I still don't. You still <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow. No. I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we won't be capping no, we much cap. longer here. No cap. Yes. Now, <laughs> women are. We, pause. Oh, pause. Oh, okay. What, why, why, are we, why are we pausing? I don't know. I don't know why we're pausing. I but, feel the need to say but something. But it's, it's, not, it's, it's not appropriate to pause, even though I pause. <laughs> like, <laughs> even though I have to pause, I'm like, pause. Okay. All right. And and last but not least, and I think women suffer from this the most. What? The catch and release. Oh, the catch and release. When yeah. a man has done everything to gain your attention. Everything. Mhm. And you finally give him the opportunity. And then he squanders it. He don't know what to do with it. He's just out. He just messed up everything. But he he, 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 he had nowhere to go with you when he, yeah, he said it. It was just fun. He was, it was fun chasing you. Then he got you and then found out you weren't what he wanted. He was like, yeah, I'm out. I can't do this. Led you on to think that, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I like you so much. I want you so much. And they get you and then. They're just out. Yeah, they're like. What? I mean, I call you. Think you, women, you think women do some women do that too, just to get a man, just to see if I can get his attention. Like, I don't want you. See if I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> see if you still got it. Yeah. Wow, these women are something. <laughs> something <laughs> else. It's something else. But I mean, sometimes I think for some people on the catch and release, you 
the woman makes it so hard mm-hmm. to get them mm-hmm. that once you get them, it's like you're disappointed now. Yeah, it's like, yeah. No, I, like I just, you just a regular old cracker. You just a regular old cracker. You a regular, just like Eddie Murphy said. You just yeah. a regular old cracker. Regular, this ain't even no, this ain't even no saltine. This is a regular old cracker. No salt. I thought she was a Ritz. No, nah. regular old cracker. Got a saltine. Yeah, throw this back in the box. And you got the fat and free. Now you got the fat free. Yeah, that got a different taste to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had that experience. I, I haven't personally, but I have witnessed it. No, I've had that experience. No, no. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've really, I. I know someone who got bamboozled. <laughs> Please tell us a story. No, no, no. It's not even a story. This woman literally appeared to be everything. I mean, he like put a hard six months in. This might have been the wackiest girl I ever met in my life when I met her. <laughs> I mean, what was wrong with her? First, she was attractive. Mm-hmm. And that's where it stopped at. <laughs> that was it? She had nothing to say. She That was just it. Self absorbed. Didn't want to know how all oh, y'all can do something for her. Like she just just a terrible person. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. And those those people exist. But she would do well on Facebook. Like if you took a picture with your boys be like, Yo, like it? what up? Like, that's okay, you? man, that's, that's you. Okay, fam, I see you. But after that, mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. and she was very bad with money. Mm, did he release her? He tried. <laughs> oh, they married. Mm-mm. That's what he did. They had a baby. What did he? He got her pregnant, <laughs> but he got a pretty little girl. <laughs> 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 Who mama won't do nothing, will not work, refuses to work. Oh wow! And you are stuck. For life. Yep. And she got a new boyfriend who has a lot of money. Mm. Well, where is she from? Uh, and he is paying a lot in child support. Oh, let me hush. Yeah. Mm. Sorry mm. to hear about that. Yep. I told wow. him I told him going out to being successful is gonna cost him something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanna have a good job. Okay. <laughs> How many more years he got left of that? Oh uh, sixteen? No, oh, wow. Seventeen? Seventeen? Child might be three or four. Mm. It's, Are you out at 18 or yeah. out as long as they want to stay in school? No, they um, changed it to it's 18. 18. But what if they mm-hmm. go to college? 18 or graduating high school. Uh-uh. It changed. It changed back? It, it changed. It's 18 or out of high school. So um, if they, it's 18, but if they grad, if they graduate high school, high school before they turn 18, mm-hmm. then it goes up until 18. If they're 18 and still in high school, 19 still in high school, then when they graduate, that's when it's done. Oh, well, I definitely hope. That she has her mama's brain. I mean, her daddy's brain. Because if she got her mama's brain, she's going to be in school until she's 22. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna age oh out? She's going to age out? She's going to max out. <laughs> now, Neek. Yes. We're we going back to Ask Neek this week. We are. Ask Neek. Yes. yes. We're going back to the Ask Neek. Ask Neek. And we're prepared for this Ask Neek. You're prepared for it. I guess. Prepared as we going to be. All right, well, let's go into it. Okay. Dear Neek, my best friend was dating this guy for a couple of months. She broke up with him because she said he was too nice. Mm-hmm. She wanted a man that had attitude and toughness to him. I told her she was making a mistake and he was a good man, but she made up her mind. I ran into him at a concert six months later, and he said he wasn't mad over the breakup and they were better off as friends. We kept in touch and remained friends until one day he asked me out on a date. Okay. I wanted to do things right. So I asked my best friend if she was okay with me dating him. And she told me if I did, we wouldn't be friends anymore. She said it's a girl's code. And even though she, she is in a new relationship, he is still off limits. I'm torn because I like him and he's a good guy. I feel my best friend is being selfish. Would I be wrong if I went out with him and said nothing about it to her? Or should I respect the code and tell him no? Go out with him, girl. She should go out with him? Yep. They weren't married. Nope. And it probably wasn't that deep. And I think if if your friend is willing to end a friendship over... A guy. Over a, over a guy that she's not dating. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Was y'all really <clears throat> friends to start with? That's that's the thing. Like, where you really is that a friendship that you're gonna that you hold to? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just uh, you can't put that on somebody. You can't put like, okay, so they was, um, they were dating. Mm-hmm. And so what now? You know what I'm saying? Like you dated them. Okay. You're in a new relationship. Like what does this even concern you? I'm being courteous by saying, hey, look, I don't have to ask you nothing. Yeah. But I'm just telling you, hey, you know, such and such, holler at me. I'm about to see what it'd be about. <clears throat> you know, like mo- your friend would be like, a true friend would probably be like, well, I don't know if I would. Or because of what they might even nah, not a real friend wouldn't do that they wouldn't try to bash him but a real friend would be like okay cool i understand thank you for respecting thank you for respecting that and saying something to me well <clears throat> this is how i look at it it depends on what kind of friend i have she said it was her best friend no 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 no. i'm not talking about whether it was my best friend or not i mean what kind of person she is if she's the oh she a, loose oh she bucket, a thought i thought okay and like, you know, she kind of just jumps from guy to guy. Like he wasn't the only guy, you know. Now, now which one? Is this the friend that met him before? Yeah. Or, okay. If, you know, it wasn't really that deep for her. I didn't, you know, I heard about him and maybe three, four others. Mm-hmm. So and, if they either have a reputation, it's. Yeah. Like it, 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 it doesn't. I, it doesn't matter to me. Like there was no relation, no real relationship. So you wouldn't respect the girl code if your girl's a thought. Wow! Why well, must stop me from having a relationship, a real relationship with someone that really wants me? Because you want it to be bounced on top of. Bounced on top of. Yeah. You said. Mm. <laughs> Never heard it. Uh, quite, quite uh, like bounced that. on top of what is? What does that look like? <laughs> what is? Yes, please. You visual. Just wanted to be. Dug into a mattress. Oh wow! Dug into a mattress. <laughs> I'm trying to clean that up as much wow. as possible. Would, would, would that be a BBO? A BBO. <laughs> Blowing your back out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's okay if she has very um, promiscuous behavior because she doesn't value men, is what you're saying. Yeah. So so he like, might have been a good guy. Yeah, and if the so conversation girl code, was girl code is out the window if she is. If you don't take reputation. him serious, yeah, no. If you don't take him serious, and well, first of all, if I have a friend that's very loose, that's like what I'm you, saying. Yeah, you you slept with everybody, like especially if you if you live in a small town, like okay. So you I can't thought in a small city. Not, hey, if you just slept with everybody in the city, it's not my fault. I met an I met the good part of him. Okay, <laughs> you met the magic hour of him. Okay, okay. <laughs> the magic hour. The magic hour. <laughs> okay, nigga, well, like, how you tie that back in? <laughs> she, she brought it back. Yeah. So, but, no girl code. Hey, goes a, no. a point I wanted to make. <clears throat> if she was her best friend, mm-hmm. that means she knew a lot of the ins and outs of that relationship. Mm-hmm. Or whatever it was. So she basically said her friend was trash. Just talking about yeah. So I mean, so basically, if you know, if she knew something, because there's no way that she's her best friend and she knows that he's doggish or whatever it is that he mm-hmm. did, and she goes, she's cool with that. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if things went away and where she was like, eh, I'm dotting behind, man. Mm-hmm. Look, I ain't even like, nah, this dude is a good dude. He tried to treat you like something. You did whatever, and you know she what even saying? admitted, like, yeah, but I don't want that. I want he's too nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Well, okay, tag, I'm it. Oh wow, <laughs> you don't want the nice guy. <laughs> you need what is it? I got next. <laughs> exactly. I'm wow. so sorry you didn't want that opportunity. You wanted something else, so this wasn't even your type. And mm-hmm. if this ain't your type, and this is not what you want, mm-hmm. it might be what I want. So your friend, yeah. so the other girl's just being selfish, really. Yeah, she's just mm-hmm. being selfish. Oh, I talked to him before, so you can't talk to him. She's taking the girl code. Yeah. Matter of fact, I've been in that situation. So you was out there thotting? No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 No, um, a friend of mine. I, I, I had told my friend of mine. She was a thought. No, no. I told <laughs> Come on, Nick. Who gonna be the thought in the story? You gotta be a thought in the listen, story. Just listen. Okay. So, um, a friend of mine came to me and was like, uh, "Well, no." To go back a little bit more, I told my friend about a guy that I, that me and him, were just texting. That's mm-hmm. it. We just text, and she was like, "No, I don't know him." Da 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 da. So, like, okay, cool. Boom. Um, a few. I want to say a year later, 
I'm not going to say a few years later. A year later, he goes back to, well, he goes to her. Well, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't even know how they interact or how they met or anything. Okay. And she comes to us like, oh, yeah, I met this guy, but I don't, you know, I don't want nothing with him. You know, he just looks big and strong, so and so okay. and so. So I'm like, Look. okay, yeah. <laughs> so when she shows me the picture, I tell her, well, you remember, that's a guy that I, you know, used to text or whatever I was telling you about. And she was like, oh, well, I don't know. I was like, well, no, go ahead, because it didn't get past. Text so using a textation relationship. No, not even that. Okay. A text <laughs> so, relationship. Yeah, so I okay. I told her, hey, go at it. Like, don't Do let me. Thing? Yeah. Don't let me stand in the way of it. Yeah, and don't she was like, in the way of your, your yeah, uh, happiness. It, it didn't get anywhere with us. Nigga, you just real when I hit the streets, huh? Yeah, I try to be. Ooh. But Ooh. she Ooh. didn't go for it. She was like, nah, the fact that y'all used to even, you know, exchange words, what I don't. Is, what is that about? I don't know, but he came back to me, so. Okay. <laughs> Catch and release. Catch and release. Catch and release. He you know, came he back. Them. Catch and release, then recycle. <laughs> Catch, release, recycle. recycle. Ooh. A year later, C-R-R. <laughs> a year later, we started talking again, and I told him, like, you know, what? Well, you was talking to my friend. He was like, well, she didn't wow. want to, and I didn't know that was your friend, and yeah. Mm, C-R-R. <laughs> <laughs> That's sound advice. Hey, like, I mean, because like, you can't live your life based off of your friend used to text him. Your friend used to talk to him in fifth grade. <sighs> no, that don't matter. Okay, it don't matter. Be happy. Mm. So no such, thing, no such thing as girls code in that department anymore. <laughs> anymore? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I think times have changed. No, I think it's always been like that. Okay. It's just that now women feel like they want to, they want to be... Um, I, I'm looking for the <laughs> That's word. How I get frustrated. Be like, <laughs> <sighs> what is this? They like to be <laughs> like the one that says, "No, you can't talk to him." Don't you? Hate that? That's mine. That's Don't mine. That's mine. That's mine. That? Woman does that? No, that's false claiming fair. on you. Yeah, false claiming. I yeah. ain't even like her. You text one time. Y'all had one conversation on the phone, what? and now her you can't even get at her friend. I'm saying you had sex with her 23 times, and you came talk to her girl. That is crazy. Well, <laughs> that is crazy, right? You said? Super crazy. Hey, because I was. It don't me, count to twenty five. It don't count to twenty five. If me and the guy is talking and it don't work out, hey, give your friend my number. Do your thing, me. He <laughs> close us out. Tell, do your thing. And close <laughs> us <out>. you at? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for listening. Uh, we appreciate y'all. It's your girl, Neat Crew. CL Butler. And your boy, Yusuf. Remember that you can catch us on iTunes, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, DefyLifePods.com, and anywhere your favorite podcasts are played. If you would like to leave a comment or a dare, Neek, email us at rsp at goldefylife.com. That's rsp at goldefylife.com. Or hit us up on our hotline, 843-310-8637. That's 843-310-8637. Follow us on our social media platforms at R-E-L-S-T-A-T Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, share, five-star rate, and give us a review. This is CL, Neek, and Yusuf, and we are out. Oh, the summertime is winding down, so it's time to go ahead and get that fall wardrobe together. Check out the new fall line from Defy Life Gear. It's got all new designs, jackets, socks, and you got to check out the brand new alternate logo. We also got sweatshirts for all the podcast gear you love so much. So go ahead and visit www.defylifegear.com. That's www.defylifegear.com to get your gear today and remember defy life lifestyle defiant it's defylifegear.com